Hey guys, welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Up next, it's time to take a look at some truly alternative music. Founded by Eugene Hoots in New York City, it's not surprising that gypsy punk rockers Gogo Bordello is a poster band for multiculturalism with members from the Ukraine, China, Russia, and Ecuador. Now the international rock group is touring worldwide with their message of transhumanism and a disregard for the borders that separate us. Gogo Bordello is a party band with a conscience, but they don't take themselves too seriously either. Check this out. Sessions is presented by McDonald's. Sergio Pitio! Formed in New York City, Gogo Bordello has become one of the most eclectic music acts in the past decade. And with a lineup representing every continent, Gogo Bordello's message of unity and multiculturalism comes with powerful lyrics and even more powerful sounds. We rise again with a fistful of heart and a relic of future. I got hooked with Eugene because I kind of started following his parties as a DJ. He became one of my favorite DJs at that time because he was spinning music I was... That he was, was given to me. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually I jumped into his parties to, to play, you know. Pedro jumped up on stage and said, Man, I gotta give you all this music! I gotta give you all this music, man! You know, and that's pretty much like that up until now. A couple of weeks ago, and somebody said, man, you guys were on stage like a left and right part of the brain. Just, and I thought it was, that was pretty accurate, you know. One day, we're Often people ask, so when you create the music, it's so interesting how you combine the styles. Man, we don't combine <laughs> It's really more of a process of our wide knowledge of music and throwing it into the pond. It's like a, a testing facility for everything that you ever wanted to do in life. You, know? you want to sing, you want to rap, you want to play percussion, you acrobatics, and whatever you want to do more, you, know, you can all do in a Google Bordello. I don't really think of it uh, as just like a, a band that's so involved with politics. It's more like a humanitarian approach. It's like people divided it up and called it this is Guatemala, this is Costa Rica, this is Ukraine, it's Moldova. But immigration is also important because of that, because slowly but surely everybody's gonna have to acknowledge that. It's one. I am you. you know, and you are him, and him is you. And you is me. <laughs> Yeah, that's also the idea of Immigraniada, to have the option to choose where you want to live and where you want to make your life and, you know, bring up on your, your family. Explore that aspect of our lives, you know, how to integrate ourselves within ourselves and within the towns that we are traveling to. You know? When we were in Latin America on tour, I walked out on a stage and the crowd was chanting, Pura Vida, Pura. I like the, the way expression is used all the time to remind you of what we do is powerful and it has a lot of value to it. No way, no freedom, no way, no freedom, that I used to know. It was satisfying to walk off the stage and have a feeling like you just hit a, a great dialogue. You know, there's a dialogue going on between all of us and between the crowd. And um, it's quite different from a lot of bands which are essentially a monologue. But uh, you know, the experience itself of having eight people around you, you know, backing you up on whatever you want to say at that time and at that moment, you know, I guess it's... Uh, Part of that experience too, you know. 